Hello, I'm going to show you how to page up your fine drawings in Adobe Illustrator. So here goes. I've opened Illustrator in the uh, computer rooms of the Allen Lab. So you can either go upstairs to Allen Lab 125 or downstairs to the bigger room, whichever is free. So open up Illustrator, which I've already done, and you will have on Blackboard, you will find there's a PDF and a .ai version of this file. I'm going to open the .ai, which stands for Adobe Illustrator version, and it's called Illustration AR2F14 Finding Drawing Template. And the little symbol for Adobe Illustrator looks like this. Open. Good, so here is your template and I'm going to zoom in. Um, your screen will look probably a bit different from this. I've got two screens, so I'm just moving my um, toolbars. This is the main toolbar for Illustrator. I'm going to move it to the left and there are other toolbars. There's layers here which I'm wobbling about, so I'm just going to make that part of this sequence of toolbars and what else have we got we've got the align tools um, and the links palette so you might encounter those you might not here's the layers so I'm going to zoom in on my page if you press control and zero simultaneously thus you will get the whole screen the whole page on your screen that is a shortcut which I'm telling you but you can also go to various view viewing points in Illustrator by clicking on view and then and then you can go to fit all in window or actual size that's apparently an A4 page but I think it's slightly big smaller view and fit our board in window which is what I did before so you can also zoom in and out with this zoom tool here and if I just zoom in on the instructions you can read so we are going to place our photoshopped illustrations which I showed you on the previous um, video how to photoshop them to make them look beautiful this tool here, this is the move tool, selection tool, this is how we select things and just to show you I can select this text um, all the notes are on one layer, this is the layers palette I can turn the notes off when I finished so these are just to help you I've just seen that this scale bar that I've got on the side of the page is on the wrong layer this is on the, the notes layer so I'm just going to put it on the scale bars layer so it makes more sense and that's how you move things from one layer to another by the way but you probably don't need to know any of this all you want to do is to know how to place images on a page and reduce their scale so I'm going to move across the page by pressing down and holding the uh, space bar on my keyboard and you get the little hand tool pop up this is a quick way of moving about on the page and it's activated for only as long as you press and hold the, uh, the space bar on the keyboard but it also is the same as this so it's another way of panning around the page right so inserting your scans is done by file and place I'm going to click on to the layer called scans of now what's it called scans of finds then I go to file as it tells me and place file place it's a bit like insert picture in word then I navigate to where my um, scans live so I've saved some in an examples page these are ones that were done for various projects over the years and I just want to see what I've got okay so I've got um, now then there's a complete find drawing of a little artifact file place there you go it's a tiny artifact because this is currently at a scale of 
2 to 1. Therefore, what does it tell me to do next? Reduce scale of scan. Select scan. Okay, I've selected the scan with this little black arrow. And right click. I just did that. Then transform and scale. And I'm typing in 50 in the uniform. The uniform is default. So that means it's going to scale down um, exponentially. That's not the right word. But it's not going to squash itself when I scale it. And there it is, a tiny little bead. So, finds identification label. Well, this is some text that I've inserted earlier. It's in the right kind of font. It is in Arial 8 point. This is the preferred font that I would like you to use because it's pretty standard. It's nothing fancy. It's just plain, nice font. And here... I will type in what it is. So, um, it's a, let's say it's a bead and any other information from Meroe, Sudan. Um, what else do I know about it? Stone, it's made of stone. This cursor here is a text tool. So if you edit the text, you have to get this cursor up. I'm going to insert the cursor behind bead, backspace, and write stone bead from Meroe. Meroe should have a capital letter. It's the name of a place. And I've lost some of my text, but it's hiding behind this little red button. So if I just get the black arrow tool, selection tool, sometimes I press keyboard shortcuts automatically because I've been using this program for years without realising you've done it. So um, if you press V when you're not in the type mode, otherwise it will type the letter V. That's a quick way of getting to the selection tool. Okay, I'm just going to position that above there. Okay, and now I'm going to place another picture. File, place. And I'm going to choose this place. So this is um, actually this is also from Meroe in Sudan. I did it for a lecturer who left about two years ago. Um, I've inked out the outline, but the interior is actually finished in pencil, which isn't what you're going to do. You're going to ink it all up anyway right click or go to object transform scale it's the same it's set to 50 which is what I did last say OK and place it on the page I'm gonna cough sorry hang on <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that right it's a little tiny tile and now file place what I'm gonna place now this thing here, place. It's another bead. And right click, object transform, scale, 50, OK. There we go. And lastly, you will be placing your pot drawing. I don't have a pot drawing here, but I'm going to put something else there. File, place. And I'm going to put that bead in there. Right click, transform, scale, 50. Now, all these things that I'm scaling down to 50%, by 50%, that is making them become back to a scale of 1 to 1. Because you have having your, up, your drawings up at 2 to 1. It says here, small finds should be shown at 1 to 1, unless it is large, like a horseshoe, then at 1 to 2. Although I happen to know... Uh, one of you is inking up a horseshoe at two to one, but that's fine. Okay, and then pot will be shown at one to two, unless it's a large pot, then one to four. So if I'm going to pretend one of these is a pot, I'll delete that and I'll place that again just for argument's sake. File, place, let's place the tile. Okay, and You've inked up your pot. Let's pretend this is a pot. You've inked it up at 
1 to 1 and you're going to show it at 1 to 2 so just like the other drawings you transform the scale by 50% and that artifact there let's pretend that's at 1 to 2 okay so type in what these finds are this is also from Meroway and it is a ceramic tile glazed with turquoise is that how you spell turquoise? never mind glaze and if you have more to add like with your pots I know that I've asked you to describe the fabric and if it's coated in a slip or something so put everything you have also the small finds number this is find one five one eight is that five one eight and I checked that because I'd saved the name of the file by its find number this is find number 486 so I'm going to insert there no there 486 and I've lost that bit of text just expand it there so I took the corner and I pulled it over and these are paragraph boxes so that means that I can make them into multiple lined um, text okay double click on that and just call it stone bead and I would like you to be a bit more extensive on your descriptions but I realize I'm being a bit slow and I need to speed things up so anyway this is a bead too S ceramic bead oops can't spell ceramic bead okay also I have <clears throat> I have here um, some tiny text that I don't want on here and I don't want you to have it on here too so either so you will have removed stuff like this in Photoshop which I showed you in the previous um, tutorial but what I can do is just cover this up with a white square so I'm going to go to my rectangle tool which is there click and drag a box and it's um, showing me it's got a red fill but I want it to have a white fill and it's not covering up the text because of the layers so I've clicked back on the layers palette oh where's it gone uh oh there it is that's the layers symbol um, and these layers order in the sequel you know if you've got one thing on top of another this is the way they work so if I drag that little blue up to layer one then that is covering the number I'm now pressing the space bar I'm navigating to my other drawings I can't find them there they are I want to cover up 518 you won't need to do this hopefully because you'll have removed this stuff in now Photoshop and lastly oh not lastly there's another one as well cover that one up I'm panning across with the panning tool cover that one up okay so now press control and zero that shows me the whole page caption I'm gonna double click on the word caption and what shall I call it um, finds illustration examples from Meroe Sudan so don't write what well, I just wrote wrote some, write something relevant but e under each of these write a little bit of information about the finds okay my phone's ringing can you hear it um, now I'm going to turn that off that notes layer thus I'm going to get my scale bars which I prepared for you earlier here's a one-to-one -one scale bar and that goes under all of them apart from this one 
which is at 1 to 2, so I take that scale bar and I put it there. And that's basically it. It's not too bad, is it? And then what you do is you go File, Save As, save it where you want to save it. I'm going to, and you need to save it as a PDF, portable document format. A PDF is something that anyone can open. Um, and it also is a kind of illust native illustrator file. Um, you can have your settings in when you do this save to uh, preserve illustrator editing, editing capabilities. And that means that I could open your file in Illustrator and I could see what how you've layered it and I could see everything else as well. But also it means that um, you see it's opening in Acrobat which is what you would see yours in and there you are and then you can attach that PDF into a document and upload it to Blackboard and I think that is that so hopefully that's been useful and not confusing and I keep going up and down hopefully that's not making you feel sick any questions then send me an email okay bye